What's up everybody, John Crescione from Barron's Performance Warehouse here for some trailer talk. Today we're going to talk about the GM Crate Engine distributor and ignition system and some things to take a look at over the winter time when it comes to maintenance, replacement, and getting ready for the new race season. The first thing that we're going to talk about is spark plug wires. Spark plug wires have a tendency of being damaged over the course of the race season due to burning from rubbing up against a header or even something simple like over tightening a tie wrap or a zip tie while you're trying to keep your spark plug wires nice and neat. Um, now's the great time to take a look at all of your wires, inspect them, make sure you don't see any burn marks or cracking. Um, if you see any kind of cracking due to over tightening, uh, using a wire loom is a great way to keep your wires neat and organized and uh, not all bunched up. The next thing that we're going to talk about is spark plugs. Starting a season out with a fresh set of spark plugs is a great thing to do. Um, the GM 602 Crate Engine recommended spark plug of choice is the NGK TR5. If you're working with a specific carburetor builder or even an engine builder, always double checking with them for spark plug recommendation is something that we highly recommend. The next item that we're going to talk about is your cap and rotor. Uh, it's a great thing to start the season out with a fresh cap and rotor, uh, specifically because over the course of a race season, the distributor is one of those items that is exposed to all kinds of elements from dirt and debris, even to water because of washing. Uh, knowing that you have a fresh cap and rotor um, on your distributor, it, it's something that is you could take advantage of now and not have to worry about it in your mid-season. Um, it's also good to inspect the items on the inside while you're doing that. Uh, one specific thing to talk about with the rotor is your rotor color. Um, in this kit, the rotor color is gray. You always want to double check with your local racetrack or series rule committee to make sure that the rotor color is the correct color of choice. Uh, most oftentimes you will hear rules officials say that as long as it's stock appearing, that is completely legal, but always double checking at, with your rules committee is something that we definitely recommend. Um, there's nothing worse than getting dinged in tech for, for an illegal rotor color. Um, one of those items that's inside of the cap on a crate engine is the coil. Um, kind of talking about the distributor and being exposed to elements, you know, one of those things that you can do right now is starting the season off with a fresh coil. Um, it's a great way to make sure that, you know, you're getting the absolute most amount of spark to your distributor um, with having a fresh coil. Uh, you know, talking about the coil too from a rule standpoint, uh, you always want to make sure that the coil of choice is also legal with your local rules official. Um, some talk about how they don't aren't supposed to have any kind of stickers or um, aftermarket labels. So always checking with them about your coil. Great way to make sure that you're going to be 100% legal. Next thing that we're going to talk about is the module on the inside. Uh, it's one of those items where, you know, it can get damaged over the course of a season. Uh, you often hear a lot of guys say, you know, I've lost spark. I'm not sure if it's the coil, I'm not sure if it's the module. Um, starting the season out with a fresh module, can't go wrong. Uh, knowing that it's replaced and that it's ready to go, you're, uh, you're pretty much setting yourself up to have a uh, complete ignition system at that point. Last two items that we're going to talk about by MSD are the Vacuum Advanced Block Off Plate. Now, depending on where you race throughout the United States, uh, some places allow you to block off your Vacuum Advance uh, to make it you know, more like a racing distributor, and it's a great way to also sealing off your, uh, the inside of the uh, distributor. Uh, MSD's made a nice little product to remove that vacuum advance if you're not using it so that you can make sure that it's sealed off and ready to go. The last thing is the mechanical advance lockout plate. Now, a lot of times you'll hear racers, crew members talk about how they've locked out their mechanical advance inside their distributor. Some guys have done it the old school way of welding it completely locked out. 
MSD's made it super easy by creating a plate so that all you have to do is remove the advanced springs on the inside, put the plate down, and you'll have a racing-like distributor um, with just by using that plate. If you have any questions on any of these topics that we've talked today in regards to updating or maintenance when it comes to your GM crate engine ignition system, feel free to give us a call at 845-651-7389. And that's this week's Trailer Talk Tip.